Hi, my name is Steve Hughes, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create or how we can model the knurl, um, the small diamond cut here that we see on the end. I'm going to model this in Maya, and I'm going to start with the cylinder rotated in Z so that I can work on it a little easier. We need some more detail as well, so I'm going to change the subdivisions along its height to 6 so that we've got some extra information here that we can start modeling. I'm going to drop to a front view so that I can select all of the faces very quickly through the center there. And what we want to do is create a diamond shape that we can extrude. However, um, obviously we have small squares at the moment, and we could use Edit Polygon's Split Polygon tool and start cutting up our shape, but that would take quite some time, especially when Maya will do it for us. Under Polygons, you can just click Triangulate. Now we have all of the edges that we need. However, what we have is a, a sawtooth where it goes up and then straight down. And what we're after is more of a seesaw shape where it goes up, down, up and down. Again, very quick to do, just drop to a perspective view. What we're going to do is select the edges. And I'm going to select the edges on the second row, press Shift to select each of those, and on the fourth row, because these are the edges that we want to reverse. So I'm just going to go around and click Shift Select on each of these edges. Be careful when you do this not to drag the mouse otherwise you could select through the object and select some edges that you're not after. This is probably the longest part of the whole modeling process. Just a few more to do now. Last few. Let's do a quick check. Yeah, we've got one face, or rather one edge, that we don't want there. That looks like it. Okay, and we go up to Edit Polygons, Flip Triangle Edge. Now we have the seesaw shape that we're after. Okay, let's drop back to a front view again. So it's still not a diamond, it's still just a seesaw shape. But if we select the vertices here and here, and then we click E to bring up the rotate tool. Um, you probably can't see that so let's move that over. We're going to rotate in the Y direction and then just eyeball it here you can see we've now created all of the diamond shapes. We have created small triangles however and what we're after is a more solid square shape. So I'm just going to select the edge here, press Q to get rid of my rotate tool, press shift select, shift select and then up in Edit Polygons, Selection, Select Contiguous Edges, select all those edges, press Delete, and they're gone. And we do have rather elongated um, diamonds at the moment, so I'm going to select these faces, press R to bring up the Scale tool, scale them in until they're more of a square shape. And now we can extrude those edges. Now if you go in the channel box, you'll find that we have Keep Faces Together set to On. If we put in a zero, we can change that to Off. That now allows us to use the scale option. If I drop to a perspective view again, a scale for the extrude, and you can see here that we now have a nice set. You have two choices. You could scale it down to a single point. Personally, I like to, like to leave part of a flat surface so that when you're rendering, you might just catch the light. That's it. That's all there is to it. Very quick, very simple. Once again, my name is Steve Hughes, and I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial.